put it here. Um, this is my, I guess, scrapbook number one, technically. I think I actually did have another one that I put away, which was technically number one, but it was more like a 0 0.5 because it was an A5. Um, anyway, uh, I don't know if you'd be interested in watching this or not, but these are like some of the uh, art, pack arts and stuff that I kept and stuck in, so like, you know, here are the uh, generations, and you see our random stickers, anyway, so I think I put them in order anyway, so yeah, February, then I got that bit, but then I just kept these bits after, because these, you know, were basically the same, just different Pokemon names and different colors. So, that's where I get. Because obviously I have no room to keep the actual box. <laughs> so I just kept stuck out bits, cut out. So then we went on to the uh, red and blue collection of the generations. Now we've got some other pack arts here, so you got Legendary Treasures here and here, and you've got some Pop Series 8, no idea when I bought that, but uh, you got uh, Phantom Forces here and here, and we got Dragons Exalted, and got some more, and a Flash Fire, and I got some of these uh, code card art. So like, you know, Legendary Treasures, black and white base, just the normal black, uh, white and uh, green ones. Got really old ones here. Got some more, uh, I think XY base that is. We got um, Flash Fire there. Furious Fist, black and white uh, plasma freeze, and you got a Plasma Blast there. Oh, and we've got from the uh, Battle Arena deck bit, black and white base, Plasma Freeze, and we also have Heart Gold Soul Silver bit there, Ash Greninja thing, Trainer a Kit thing, Hoopa Collection Box. And got some more. Eh. As you can probably see, I'm doing this on the bed, so it's not as. Uh... Okay, so we got some Primal Clash, Furious Fists, Roaring Skies, Breakthrough. So, like, as you can see, this is a very thick. But okay. So just those three arts. Just those two there. Trying to get all of the fates collide since uh, in ancient orders up here. Since I actually bought the fates collide booster box, and that was the first booster box that I bought, actually. And then you've got a sampling pack there. Plasma Freeze, like, backing, I guess. Got some Dark Explorers. you got some Phantom Forces. Front and black back of, you know, those blister cardboard things. Well, I guess they're single pack things, but I Ooh, we got a Diamond and Pearl Legends Awakened. Yeah, sometimes I don't even remember when I bought some of this stuff. My Black and White Noble Victories, Next Destinies. I got this uh, Japanese one that actually came with the uh, Xerneas break. And two strawberry flavored gummies, which they were very nice. Um, Steam Siege maybe? Yeah. 
uh, a fake card <laughs> and a Lego Pokemon thing. As you can tell, this is the Pokemon section. We got some more Steam Siege and a uh, different uh, languaged black and white um, emerging powers. I can't read that, so I'm guessing that's what it means. Then we've got evolutions. Ocean of Battle Decks. All of them. Plus some, I guess, just cutouts. These were the, uh, free gifts for, for the uh, pre-order of the uh, 3DS games. So these had the two figures in it. And this one, you know, from the Nintendo like advertisement thing. Got an Alola, Alola collection like cutout bits. I bought both of the boxes, so obviously both of the arts. Um, so we got some Snorlax action going on. And we got an XY base. And some Fierna stuff. And Breakpoint. Pretty sure I got that stuck somewhere else too, but it's my favorite. Greninja. Well, my favorite, uh, Ninja type of Pokemon. So here we got uh, something. The pin blister pack thing. We got another breakpoint thing. There's a sticker there. Got uh, Double Crisis, I think? Or it's, just, it's a pin thing. So I'm not sure anymore. But I, you know, kept some of the, the backings. On some of them, and now we got Sun and Moon base set artwork. And this, I think, was from the breakthrough, yes. Elite Trainer box art from the inside. And of course, I cut this one out before I thought of sticking them to my cupboard doors. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, got some stickers there. But, uh, yeah, some Zygarde. Action, you got some big one sticker, uh, 1999 sticker series one, uh, wrapper. I collect so weird things, you can say. Nice Mimikyu stuff going on. Got some more trainer kit and a three dog uh, pin blisters. Got a cardless thing, you know, that comes in a sampling pack, which is very nice. And we got Guardians Rising, like part, part of the boxes. Yep. Oh, we got a Double Crisis uh, card list here, and uh, the, the pack part here too. Can you do one again? And here is the Lichen Rock thing, so, you know, kept the uh, receipt and stuff, you know, for collection. Cocoa stuff. And Burning Shadows thing, I think. Yep. Oh, that's just the birthday cards from last year. Okay, so now we're off the uh, Pokemon section. I'm just Move this back so it doesn't fall off of it. <laughs> Got the uh, Sailor Moon card flips, which are still on, my doubles are still on the, uh, my eBay thing. So if you ever want to buy. And look, we've got a stamp. And we've got some Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega Pack 
like Yugi's World Collection 3. You got some other Mega Pack down there. You got Premium Gold, Infant Gold stuff. You got a Dark Magician uh, sticker there. You got the Lion Pack. You got some Vice Farts, Fates Unite, Unlimited Blade Works. Some more Millennium stuff, Duelist Alliance, and that's the cover of the box, and got some Card Fight Vanguard. A lot of Card Fight Vanguard. <laughs> and got some Full Metal Alchemist, and some Inuyasha, and a buttload of Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, more Yu-Gi-Oh. See, I'm trying to click at least open one of every one of these. So I've opened one to five, maybe, or one to four. And I'm, I'm, I'm either missing number five or number six. So I haven't found out where I could get those for a good price. Here, look. We got the uh, Legend of Blue Eyes uh, first edition is that Spanish? I can get a hold of a uh, first edition uh, English that I was like totally confident it wasn't a fake, so I got the Spanish one because I wanted a pack art of it anyway. So we got Dragons of Legend. We got Star Pack, Arc V, uh, Arc Five, Five Ds, Shining Victories, The Shining Darkness. Legacy of the Valiant. And we got some more Vice Farts. And this is the Sword Art Online 2. Sword Art is one of my favorite errands. And here we have the uh, blind box uh, poster box. And we got another blind box. It's the best of anime series 1. That's the box, obviously. We've got a Carfi Vanguard wrapper there, and another there. And some more Yu Gi Oh stuff. More Yu Gi Oh stuff. More and more Yu Gi Oh stuff. that one. And some more Card Fight Vanguard. Yeah, to reflat that later. But here we've got some Vice Swords, Fate, Collide Liner, Prisma, Ilya, Zvi. Yeah, it's part of the Fate Stay Nights, like sub side series. Don't really watch very much of it. But here we got Blessings of Divas, Vanguard, Card for Vanguard G. This is a, uh, what's it called? Um, clan Booster. So this clan is basically Bermuda Triangle, which is the Mermaid Clan, which I mainly collect now instead of all of it, just mainly the mermaid ones, because I like mermaids. Mm -hmm. And here is the Luck and Logic. And those are the uh, tri trial decks or starter decks, however you wish to say it. And these are all four of the booster packs. There is another one, number five, and there might be number six, but I don't really know where to buy them. And here are some of the uh, box arts. I only bought number two and number three, so I don't. No, I haven't got hold of the other ones. And so we got Dusty Soul Yu Gi Oh! That's the rest of the looking logic art. And here we have the box art for the uh, Sailor Moon blind box posters, which I actually have all of them on my wall. It takes up a lot of wall because there's like one, two, three, four. Five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, is it? You know, I probably could just look on here because it actually does say 16 right there. But um, anyway, yes, I have all of those, and there are two of these. I think it was that one and this one. And then I have it for sale on my eBay, too. Oh, and that's the... Uh, Gold edition movie pack box and uh, back art there, and we got a Disney Mystery Minis blind box there, and we have the uh, Animal Crossing amiibo card booster box. And that I had to buy from Play. Uh, Dash Asia because there wasn't selling any for a good price where I was looking. And here we have some more Sailor Moon. This is the uh, Cardass Revival Collection number two. And this one would be a uh, collection. I think the original first one. There is a collection number three in here somewhere. We'll get to it. But here's a uh, just the, the figure art box here. I got this in a uh, I think it was Acubento, maybe. Anyway, yeah, there and another blind box here. Oh, I think it's a blind box. Some larger blind box. And we got Power Rangers. Some more of you. Card fight Vanguard. Oh yeah, this one is pretty cool. Even though it's not actually an anime, it's a game. Never played it because it's obviously in Japanese and I can't read it, so no point me playing it. But basically, it's just a game that only has mainly. Uh, it's aimed towards females, so all of them are supposed to be hot guys or something. Anyway, so we got Turn and Pack. Three and four. I don't know where the two went, but uh, yes, some more Yu Yu and card fight. Yes, and here is Revival Collection number three. That's the Maximum Crisis. And that's the trial deck for the, the Token Rambo card fight trial deck. And just a Anime Con 2017 con book. And I stuck some of these on the back for who knows what reason. These are the uh, Pokeblock subscription boxes. And I'm still waiting for three. They say it's they're not continued, I guess, because I can't get a hold of them anyway. And I'm still waiting for three because I paid for three and no show. So I like... However much is a £16.95 times 3, I lost that much, which is really annoying. And here we got some uh, Konami um, printed uh, wrap, uh, protective wrap, I guess, I don't know. We got some more Yu-Gi-Oh! We got some more Yonami. This is the Shonen Jump Mystery Minis. Box. You got the Age of Ultron uh, uh, Dice Masters blind bag. You got some more Vice Farts. Re edit. Uh, SAO re edit. Got a Japanese Yu Gi Oh thing there. Some more Yu Gi Oh. That's the card that the SAO stuff. Do a saga with the awesome card art. Because, like, it really is pretty cool. I just really like that one because it's the rose, but blue eyes, you know, basic. And obviously, this is the uh, free card that came in the uh, movie DVD thing. This was a pen. I still have the pen. Uh, the pen box thing. 
for the Japanese one. Oh, you don't need to, need to read all of it. Pretty basic, you know. That was part of the blind bag series. This is my uh, my wristband thing. My ticket thing. Uh, oh yeah, I bought the lucky bag. I also kept the price. I also bought a Naruto and a Yuri on Ice bag, but I never kept the uh, bag. We got card captors. Blind box. Got this uh, pre cure a gum packet. It comes with two cards in each pack and a piece of gum. 20 in total, 21 in total, but I never got the whole thing. The um, Kuroko's basketball blind box. I uh, just some. Um, eBay uh, stuff there. Some more Yu Gi Oh! And a Pokemon sticker on a Yu Gi Oh! page. Yep. And the uh, Sword Art Online, the movie Ordinal Scale, Vice Sports card, boost box thing. These are like, these were the tickets that we got. Let me just quickly show you, I guess, if you want. Just, for instance, each one has a different thing, but uh, see, it's got that on it. So, I, so yeah, I kept that in there. How do you do this with one hand? Okay, so that, that's my receipt. <laughs> Okay, and this is like what you'd find in a basic scrapbook, just random pictures of things that I, you know, that's the, the greatest showman thing, the uh, new cinnamon ticket thing, then we got some Christmas 2017 cards, and, you know, and some receipts, <laughs> some other stuff I got from the magazines I thought were cool and whatever. For some reason, I like the you know holographic effect, so I kept that. One of the things I won uh, from the arcade thing. Some more picture things. You got. Got the Operation Christmas Child thing. You got this. I want I won something that more about some food bank leaflet stuff. And uh, I kept this because I wanted to, you know, remember what socks I bought to uh, sew my Pikachu thing in some stamps. I don't normally collect stamps. It's just what I have here. So like a wiki one, US ones, some UK ones, Alice in Wonderland one, Toys R Us thingy, but that was like printed on a news um, magazine newsletter thing. Um, yeah, Rose I thought was pretty, yeah, and that's very good. Okay, now we enter the food section. Ignore the notification on my phone. Got a, uh, was it pumpkin or spice or I don't know, some Kit Kat flavor, you got some Pokemon gummies, and these are what came in the, uh, Pokemon gum thing, you got a salmon candy there, some Japanese candy wrappers, 
that I got from the Get Some Snack Pack. And uh, it's just a Iceland uh, thing. I don't know. So I just stuck it all in. It saves me from uh, cutting out. I got things on both sides. I don't have a recipe in it. Or two. Alright, yeah. And uh, some more stuff. I like these. I don't know, I prefer strawberry mainly, but uh, I like um, grape flavored stuff too. I prefer these because they're more, you know, hotter <laughs> and spicier. These are nice. These are nice too. Uh, yeah. It's curiously cinnamon instead of cinnamon toast crunch. And some other noodle stuff, some other other stuff, some like riddles from the Smarty packets. Some more stuff. Yeah. Winders instead of fruit roll-ups. And yeah, I like keep almost anything. Because this is this food section, you see, so. These are nice. Well, most of the things I have in here aren't either nice, or look nice, or... I just... I make a note whether I buy it or not. That's nice, too, though. I haven't meatballs in ages. I'm craving meatballs. Oh, yes, this Swedish collection of the spicy is very good. Here are the strawberry... Gummy candies, very nice. Strawberry flavored ramen is very nice. But I warn you, when you open it, you open it outside or over the sink because that fizzes, like the fizz goes everywhere. Mostly it's good. Yeah. Chocolate chest set would probably melt in my hand, but if you hold it too long, that's good. It's all right. I don't like dark chocolate though. And these are nice. The, uh, these are, I guess, and also label them like an Oreo type of thing, because that's kind of like what's inside. Kind of similar. So you got some mint flavor Oreos over here. You got some peanut butter flavor Oreos. I like the Oreo Thins, because it's less cooking. <laughs> got some Sensations. Kinder Bueno White. I'm thinking if I have the normal Kinder Bueno in here or not, because if I don't, I'll have to restick. These are nice. This is a mini box, by the way. Profiteroles. Anything with cream in, mostly, are awesome. Here are the Thins. They go some tarts. Fantastic. Though I prefer mine from Tesco's. It's much more creamier, because I am about to eat it. Sort of. See? Um, <clears throat> these are also quiche. They're very nice too. Some Mr. Noodles. Love them from. Yep, the uh, battery died. So, as I was saying, these ones are from the egg custard tart uh, box from Tesco. Which I prefer the Tesco ones. Because, as it says, it's with double cream. Anyway, so just moving on, you got some gum flavors. But these are supposed to be dental gum. So, like, spearmint and peppermint, I prefer the, uh, oh man, I can't remember. Peppermint. Uh, no, peppermint. Peppermint. I'm pretty sure I prefer the peppermint. There's also the uh, cinnamon, cranberry, and fresh fruit, which only tastes like orange. Which I could just call it orange flavor. And you got some mini Oreos. These are yogurts. Like fruits. These are awesome waffles. You got some beef jerky, a bit of a packet there. Crispy crackers, very nice. Cooley. 
good. Those which I mainly get the uh, extreme hot and spicy ones. That's good. That's okay. The soba. These are for. This is from the soba ones. So the soba ones are nice because on the lid it has holes which you can pour the water out. Because I guess you don't eat your noodles with soup. That. It's a lint uh, chocolate wrappers here. Some Swiss chocolate wrappers. And that thing is very nice. You got some strawberry flavor and golden Oreos. Breakfast wraps. As you can tell, uh, I did make note. Breakfast wrap is my favorite out of these three. You got some green and black butterscotch chocolate, which is very nice. And those Cheetos thing over there. These are very nice too. Kind of like a cornet, was it cornetto or whatever? But strawberry flavor. I think they have a strawberry flavor cornetto too, but this is what my sister brought home, so I, I ate it. Um, Wonka bar with a golden ticket. A uh, Greek whip style, whipped Greek style bliss. Uh, yogurt. I wanted to try it out. So, I had mom get some. <laughs> some Askey's fan wafers. Very nice just to nibble on. Some Rice Krispies. There's a normal Kinder Bueno thing. And a mini Kinder. A Kinder Choco Bombs. So this is a big flavor wrap thing. Freshly made to order. I wonder. I think the uh, the the text faded. <laughs> uh, I got some angel wings there. Teasers. The uh, mini frosties box. These are okay. Not the best. <laughs> this is what I said there. <laughs> I should put disgusting yuck on this. Like in this bacon one, it looks more like brown instead of the yellow it's supposed to. Cornish cl clotted cream shortbread are very nice. Or if you're wondering what the holes are, those are the uh, type of uh, soothers for your throat, which I'm verging on probably needing. Uh, cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. And a cake bar. Sweet chili chicken wrap. It's very nice. And some quiche Lorraine, um, that's nice. Um, I don't actually shop there or anything, but I just put it because it has my name on it. <laughs> Got some creamies, which is kind of like a, uh, Milky Way. And as I said before, I mainly get these ones, which I only have one packet left, so I'll need to buy some more. Some fab ice lollies. Sticky chicken kebab. The, the bigger, the box bit of it, anyway. Yeah. And this, um, that stuff. Uh, Bengala, which is oh, just the, uh, the cylinder of cheese. The Reese's, you got this pineapple pastry thing, which I think is Taiwanese, which is very good. All butter, Belgian hot chocolate chunk cookies. The Magic Stars, and then the Unlimited Edition Strawberry and Cream, Lint, Window Babbix, the Reese's got the uh, White Chocolate Version, and the Laurel Chocolate Version, there, and then this is the uh, uh, Strawberry. Cream version, and this is no one but the Christmas seed. Or it's white chocolate, but I think it's the normal one. And here we got another thing about this. The noodles in no time switching. Okay. Hello, Panda. And a magnet and a fab ice cream stick, or ice cream stick thing. Yeah, this is the uh, Cornetto. Big circle. 
a bit, got a bread sticker, and a mint bear. So yes, that is everything in my first well, my journal, uh, scrapbook. It looks like this. I actually named it Scrapbook 1. This probably should be 1.5 or something. But yes, that is everything. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much if you watched the whole thing. But uh, yeah. Don't know if I'll do the next one because I've got a separate scrapbook for like uh, my like coins that like for the adverts of that which some of the coins I don't buy or won't even think about buying but I like the picture so I'll keep it. And there's one and a half of a uh, Pokemon one and some more. I still gotta stick in these you know food related ones. Yep. So, so got food stuff there to stick in. Got some more Pokemon stuff to stick in over there and yeah. I'll get to it after, but I finally finished this scrapbook, which took ages. So, like, yeah. So, if you're... Well, I might do the next one, I don't know. If it's right next to me, I will. If it's not, then I might not. It depends if I put it away before I do it. Because if I put it away, I'm not likely to actually get it back out again, because I'll forget where I put it. <laughs> anyway, this is it, and... It's like 12.21 a.m. and I might finish my custom tart, then I might take a snooze or read some manga or fan fiction or do something or go to sleep. I should probably go to sleep tonight. I mean, it's 12.21 a.m. But uh, I'm like half tired, half not tired, so I have no clue. Anyway, so thank you for listening and watching me go on and on about this massive thing. I don't even know where to put it. Can I even put it anywhere? I mean, like, look at it. It's not even closing properly. It's like bulging up. Okay, so thank you for watching and listening. And I said that already. And subscribe if you haven't. I got four giveaways going on right now. You know, which is the 350, 400, 450, and 500 giveaway, sub giveaways. And we're sort of close to the 350, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so also, if you want, I'm using it more now because I remember I have it. Uh, check out my Instagram if you want. Check out my um, I snaps I put on some of the stuff on there, too. And uh, check out... Uh, my eBay for any cards or whatever I got on selling there. Um, yeah, that might be it. Uh, I put up the you know video uh, uploads. Uh, I put it on uh, Twitter and the Google Plus thing uh, collection page. I don't know. It's everything is in the description below. Just check it out. That'd be awesome. So, like and subscribe for more. Over now.